Willkommen, bienvenue, and welcome to today's video. My name is Emma Davidoff. Welcome back to my channel. I am so happy you are here. Today, I am not excited about my video. Yeah, no, I know, unusual. Today, instead of trying out new makeup or a new look, I'm going to be getting rid of makeup, and that makes me very, very sad. So I'm just gonna keep this like kind of sad smile on my face the entire video to keep from acting crazy. Today I'm going to be going through my nude lipstick collection and I'm going to be deciding what to keep and what to get rid of. I have been having some issues. I literally cannot close the drawer that they go in. I'll insert a clip. So as you can see, it is time for a clean out and I'm going to be going over some of the products that I am getting rid of and why, some of the ones that I am keeping and why I'm keeping them, and then we are going to see the satisfying end. I also swatched all of my shades just so that you can see exactly how many nudes we are working with here. So the first one that I'm going to be getting rid of is the Maybelline Vivid Hot Liqueur in the shade Charmer. Uh, this was a nice shade, but it did kind of feel like a liqueur, like a nail liqueur on your lips. It didn't feel nice, and it was sort of thick and weird and gloppy, and I didn't like it, so I'm getting rid of it. The first thing I'm going to be keeping is what I'm wearing on my lips today. This is the NARS Satin Lip Pencil in Rikugen. I've bought this like three times. I really, really love it. It does not have a glossy finish like you see right here. I'm wearing a gloss over it. It has a satin metallic finish, and it's really nice. I am also, of course, going to be keeping my brand new Rare Beauty shades. This is Support and Empathy. I love them. I will also be getting rid of my Bobbi Brown Crushed Lip Color in Blackberry. I really wanted to keep this. It's a really, really cool color. It uh, looks like a really dark chocolate brown coming out, but then when you put it on, it's almost like it said a blackberry, but it's kind of patchy, you can see. So I'm just getting rid of it because I don't wear it. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to be keeping is the Givenchy Rouge in Terra D Vinyl in the shade Rose Desirable. Uh, this is honestly a pretty similar color to what I'm wearing right now, but it's a little bit darker and it just goes on so smooth, so moisturizing, and it's kind of shiny, which I like. Going along those same lines, I'm going to be keeping the Senna Lip Luster in Rosette. It sort of has a similar sheer thing going on, but instead of in that sort of rosy tone, it is in a very muted nude, and uh, those kinds of nudes don't always look good on me, and this one does, so it's a rarity. I'm keeping it. The next thing I will be getting rid of is from the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick Capsule Collection. I think this was like a special edition for a Halloween or something. It's in the shade Smog. This is honestly a really cool lip color, but I will never wear it because it's in literally like a bronze gold. I just have no occasion to wear it and it's taking up space. And although it is really cool, I am going to have to say goodbye. Speaking of the Vice lipsticks, I just have like a billion of them because I bought the Vault a long while back when they first launched the collection. And so we're going to be seeing a lot of those come up. Uh, some of the Vice lipsticks that I'm going to be keeping, I have four of them, are the shades Weirdo, Naked, Manic, and Sheer Liar. Weirdo and Naked are just two beautiful creamy nudes. One's a little warmer, one's a little cooler. I love them both. Um, Manic is, again, kind of that similar rosy nude shade to both the NARS and the Givenchy, but this one is much more creamy and richer, and it is not at all like a balm. It is fully opaque. And lastly is the shade Sheer Liar. This is similar to Weirdo, but it's just a little more balmy. And now for the Vice lipsticks I am getting rid of, I'm going to be getting rid of the shade Backtalk. It's just a little purpley for me. It's not super flattering. And I'm going to be getting rid of the shade Rapture for a similar reason. Even though I really don't want to because I think it's really pretty, but I really have to because I just can't keep that many new lipsticks. I'm also going to be getting rid of four more, those being Conspiracy, Amulet, 
Gubby and Stark Naked. Conspiracy, Amulet, and Gubby are three metallicized ones. They're very intense. Uh, Amulet and Conspiracy are different shades of a chocolate metallic, and Gubby is just sort of a light pearl metallic. It's cool to highlight with, but honestly, I have other things I'd rather use. Okay, so not to be that person, but out of these two, I do feel like I have to pick one of them. I know I just said I was going to get rid of them, but honestly, brown metallics like that are pretty unique, right? Shouldn't I keep one? Can I? Don't I deserve it? You have a problem, sir. Seek help. I think that I am going to keep the shade Conspiracy. I know, I'm bad. Okay, the next thing that I will be keeping is this Clay de Poe lipstick. I don't know what the shade is, I don't know what the name of the lipstick is, but it is one of those shades that literally just makes you think this girl's a model. It's like that perfect nude that you see on Kate Moss and Candace Juan Opal when they're bronzed and beautiful and just staring into the camera with some bright eyes. This is that nude. In a similar strain of that model nude, I'm going to be keeping the Bobbi Brown Crush Liquid Lip in Lychee Baby. Um, speaking of Lychee, please try Lychee Tea. It's so good. There's a place on the Upper East Side of New York called Atiaz Teas and Coffees and they have a Lychee Tea. I get it, a Lychee Iced Tea with two pumps sugar-free vanilla. It has like no calories and it is delicious. Um, and also the Tartist Lip Paint. This is probably the most matte liquid lipstick that I own and it's the only one that I really like. It's also the only nude sort of light enough to not wash me out when it's matte because oftentimes matte liquid lips do make me look a little dry. So this one doesn't do that. A similar product that I will not be keeping is the Victoria's Secret Velvet Matte Cream Lip Stain for several reasons. One, it's a similar nude to that one, but it does wash me out. Two, it is sort of patchy and the matte looks weird. And three, I do not support Victoria's Secret as a brand anymore. They use prison labor, which is literally modern day slavery. And any company that engages in those practices can say bye bye to my business. The next one I will be keeping is one that I really should be getting rid of, but I refuse to. This is the Lancome Lobsolu New in Cream Lace, and I have had this lipstick literally forever. It was actually my mother's, and I have been using it for so, so long, and somehow have not yet run out of it. It still smells good. It still applies well, and it's just a really pretty color. It's sort of something that you wouldn't find often anymore where it's that sort of very light metallic. It's not a big, shiny, highlighty lip, but it is sort of pearly and reminds you of like a 90s vibe. I really, really like it, and I just refuse to get rid of it because like, it's a memory, you know what I mean? Along the same lines of a sort of slightly pearlescent lip, I have the Vice Liquid Lipstick in the shade Trivial. This is really pretty. It's honestly almost a pink, but I'm still gonna count it as a nude. Okay, I am done on doing things. I am getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lipsticks. That really hurts, but you know, I'll survive. <laughs> Man, there's people that are dying. All the lipsticks that are not expired, I will be donating to my local women's shelter. If you have extra makeup, that is a great place to donate it. Just make sure that you sanitize it first. What we're keeping, what we're throwing away. And just so you can get the after effect, I will show you the drawer opening and closing smoothly. <laughs> I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, I could do sort of a much larger purge of me getting rid of a lot of makeup because goodness knows I do have a lot that needs to go, especially if I'm going to be making room for more stuff to review. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel, ring the bell to be notified of my upcoming videos. YouTube may or may not notify you depending on if they are having a good day or not. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.